Math 3, final benchmark, question 15. For a certain polynomial function, f of 6 equals negative 2, and f of x is evenly divisible by x plus 6. Which statements must be true? Select all that apply. Alright, so we know that we can have multiple answers, and we know that this is evenly divisible. That means um, this is a factor of said polynomial, whatever that polynomial is. So we can first determine that x plus 6 is a factor. And I'm just going through what I know before I even look at my answer choices here. And then when it's written as f of 6 equals negative 2, that means this came from a factor of x minus 6. And that means my remainder is negative 2. So um, let's see, how should I write that? So let's put um, negative 2 is the remainder, and that's it's just written as f of 6 equals negative 2. That tells us that the factor is x minus 6, the remainder is negative 2. This comes from um, the remainder theorem, and you could also um, find out this using synthetic division or long division if you knew what the polynomial is, but this is just testing your knowledge of the remainder theorem. All right, let's look at our answer choices here. So we have the expression x minus 6 and x plus 6 are factors. All right, they're factors if the remainder is 0. This one said it's evenly dis divisible, so we know that this one is a factor, but this one has a remainder, so they are not both um, factors. The remainder when divided f of x by x minus 6 is negative 2. Okay, so we showed that that is true up here using um, just definition of remainder theorem. So b is one correct answer. The remainder when dividing f of 6 by x plus 6 is negative 2. x plus 6 is evenly divisible, so it does not have a remainder. So that one is not true. And the value x equals negative 6 is a 0. So this right here, x plus 6, if we set that equal to 0, um, and subtract, x equals negative 6. So that one is a 0. That one's evenly divisible. That's a factor. And the value of 6 is a 0. We know that one's not a 0 because, again, it has a remainder of 2. So this is just different ways to write, basically, um, asking you about the remainder theorem. So question number 15, the answers are B and D.